on the free per view, it's time to, for him to make a statement. Well, we're just waiting for his opponent to come oh, around right. here because I guess we're going to do this old school style from what I'm hearing in the uh, my headset. Then we're going to finish off this one my way and then you can take it the rest of the way from, from elsewhere. I'm too excited to get this boy out here. Ladies and gentlemen, from New York, New York, weighing 165 pounds and 5 foot 9. BBWE Exhibition Champion. He is perfection. It is Bryce Ketterly. Well, here he comes, Mr. Perfection himself, and I bet you he's a company. Yep, there's one person to come in the ring sign right now, and that's somebody that Stick Dude's gonna have to watch out for. Well, I might as well warn you, as you can see, uh, with that timer that's above uh, Bryce Kerley as he comes out to the ring here, that timer, each match has a 20 minute time limit. If that match reaches that limit on the clock right there, the match is officially called a draw. We're going old school here. Definitely timed matches like in the olden days. If you go over, that's it. You have exactly 20 minutes to prove your supremacy in the ring. If you cannot, you fail. It is a draw. There is no win. There is no lose. You just suck and you go home empty-handed. Well, they look at them, they're kind of going old school a little bit here. Wait a minute, I'm sorry, I'm getting reminded that's 15 minutes, not 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. That is 15 minutes. If they go past the 15 minute mark, it is officially declared a draw. Well, and now Bryce is looking to get into the ring here and get ready. Checking on Stick Dude, no, making sure he is clean and ready to go for this match as Bryce seems to be taking his sweet ass time. You know, I wonder why is he in the bow tie? What? You know, he needs, he needs to be in like a blue shirt and a nice little bow tie, like old school. <laughs> That would be nice, but oh. not on any time soon. Well, and there you see it, ladies and gentlemen, the exhibition title being displayed right there. That's what it's all about. And now here he is heading down. There he goes, patting down Bryce Kennedy for weapons. Mr. Perfection. Yeah. Well. All right, there is the bell, ladies and gentlemen. The clock is ticking. And oh! And there he goes, oh, Stick Dude already coming out, already coming out. Not wasting any time, right in there with the fist, trying to knock the block off of Bryce Ketterly. Well, and there you go, ladies and gentlemen, into the arm block, into the arm bar there, trying to get the, now with the punches again, Stick Doom already coming out here with some punches. Ref looking on quite displeased here. Doesn't look like he's none too happy about this close oh, fist, but man, these boys are really just laying into it. Oh, damn! Quick roll-up pin. 
one. No, Definitely no, catching no. him by surprise, but only getting the two count before he shakes him off. Well, I do not. I, look at that. Oh, Bryce is pretty proud of himself there. And now, oh, and there's the punches right there by Bryce Kennedy right onto uh, Stick Doom. That's not old school, but hey, we're going old school brawling, I guess. And oh, into a nice clothesline, just taking him down onto the mat there, just running towards him and smacking him right with that clothesline. Yeah, he is laid out cold. Well, and there you go, picking him up here. Man, and listen to the crowd out here. Jeers galore. Well, and there he goes, sending sending stick right off the ropes here, into that rope shoot. Oh, into a nice drop kick there. Into a nice old school kind of drop kick. That's going to be the theme of tonight. And into a nice Boston Crab trying to wrench back on that back there. Look at that. Wow. Trying to get that back going here. What do you think, Wild? Yes. Definitely an intro. I mean, seriously, I think he's a little close to the ropes. His ring positioning could be a bit better, but... He is definitely laying it in there, using all of his weight and his force, pushing with the legs, leaning back into that pull. Well, they, you, you know, Stig Doon is a lot, is a little bit of a height advantage towards Bryce Ketterly. If you take out the back and the legs of the man, then it pretty much it cuts his height in half. Well, it doesn't matter if you're tall or short. If your legs are fucked up and you can't get up, or if you're hurting every time you try to get up, it's going to affect your game, period. Smart tactics as far as that pose go, but this, not the smartest move. Turning his back on his opponent, trying to play up to the crowd. This is not the perfect opportunity for that, Bryce. Turn around. Uh-oh. Stick is already looking to make a statement here. I don't know if turning the back on him is going to be a great idea. And there, oh, look at that! Brad Bunnings oh, oh, just ran towards him. Yeah, Jessica, just stay there and look pretty. That's what you're made to do. <laughs> she fails at that even. Let's not give it to my You tell her, Rob. Just you tell her. Much any prettier, and I'm going to have to get her some fucking estrogen so she quits looking like a tranny. You tell her, Rob. Yeah. Uh, laid out on the mat on the far side, and looking like he's had a hard time getting back to his feet. Laid there for quite a while, clutching That's his back. Four. Apparently, that huge back body drop did its damage and then some. Damn. Well, You're and there he is, back into the ring though at five. Well, as you can see, Bryce currently beat the count. Beat the count here. Stick seems to be favoring that leg of his. As I said, oh, you take the leg out. You take that leg yeah. out. He's half his height. Yep, probably twisted up a good muscle or two there, giving him a bit of a issue with taking his weight or using any power moves with that leg. It'll be interesting to see how that hinders him in the rest of this match. Well, as I but the thing is, keep your eye on the outside of Jessica Hayakova. That is my big thing. Oh! Big stop from Stick onto the solar plexus of Bryce Ketterly here, laying him out, keeping the wind knocked out of him as he tries to recover. Well, ladies, well, there you go right there, ladies and gentlemen. Trying to pick him up there, trying to get some sort of offense mounted. Because if it's up to him, he's got to do it. And oh, look at that! Spiked him with that power bomb! Ow! Oh, it makes my tailbone hurt just looking at it. God damn! Look at him! Just hit him right in the small of the back there. Ooh, that's an old school power bomb. One, Man, two, one. No! Not uh, enough to keep 
him down. No, Bryce still having it in him, managing to twist out of that pin. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to keep saying ladies and gentlemen because it's old school, so I can do that. <laughs> I know I can get away with the Ben Bay tonight because it's old school. <laughs> I know I can. Uh, and then, wait a minute, Stick is signaling for the end there after spiking him with that power bomb. Could this be enough? And will we see a new exhibition champion? It definitely seems confident. He's definitely had the role of the offensive here. Bryce laid out after that power bomb has still not recovered from being flipped out of the ring even just before that. And oh, wait, he goes oh. for the big splash and misses. He oh. got his knees up in time. Definitely tucking into it, Bryce, catching stick across the gut with the kneecaps, making him take that impact all on his own in the back. Here's the pin. One, two, and now. Stick still has a fight in him to make sure he can try to win that exhibition championship. Seriously, after getting all of the wind knocked out of you and your teeth rattled by that kind of impact, it's really impressive that Stick has managed to twist out of that one. I want you to think about this. Number one, this is a free preview. This is the big time. Mm -hmm. Number two, this is for the exhibition championship. And number three, if Stick Jim compares with Bryce Kennedy, he'll be the only person to do that. I know. So not Stick's only, got a lot to hold Not only for. does he end up with the belt, but he ends up with the illustrious, a, you know, illustrious title of being the one that broke Kettley's winning streak. You know he's craving that. You know that's itching away at the back of his mind as he lays there fighting to make sure he can continue in this match. Well, there is a lot on the line here. Not only can you be the exhibition champion, you can be the only person that says, hey, I defeated perfection on a uh -huh. free preview. Uh-huh. Oh, we'll never hear the end of it. <laughs> and then there's there's the uh, whip to the corner there into those old school ropes. As you can see, look at the colors of those ropes. Those are kind of old schoolish. And oh, Bryce Kennedy moved oh, out nice. of the way. Kane charging in for that corner strike here, and Bryce literally just twirling like a little fancy pants, getting the hell out of there in the nick of time, letting Stick have a taste of the corner turnbuckle. Nom 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 leather. Really? We're, we're nom nom leather now? <laughs> nom nom leather. It's what he just did, man. He had a kiss her full of that turnbuckle. Well, as you can see, though, here he comes back right into the... Oh, look at that! Oh! That's his finisher there. Uh, they... Oh, man. One, two, and three. That's and it, three. ladies and gentlemen. God your damn winner, it quick. Your winner at six minutes and 45 seconds left in the match. Perfection, Bryce Kitterly, still your exhibition champion. Man, amazing. Not only did he manage to dodge that and let Stick take his face to the turnbuckle, stunning him, but then pulling out that finisher at the last minute while he was still staggering around, clinched it for him. That was an excellent ending, very decisive, mortal match there. Quick side effect pin, calling it done. Like it or not, ladies and gentlemen, perfection. His reign continues. His undefeated streak still unbroken. No help whatsoever from the heifer on the outside of the ring. He managed to pull off that win all by himself, keeping that belt strong. You know, one of these days we're going to see a cat fight between you two. Huh? We're going to see a cat fight between you and Jessica. I already know it. Oh, I would love it. I would love her. <laughs> snatch that nasty ass weave right off her head. Get her, Mama Bear, get her. Thank you, Sarah. <clears throat> All right, ladies and gentlemen, give us just a minute here. We are gonna pay our dues to the sponsors. These are the folks that help us do what we do best here at the VW.